pregnancy can have some of those not so glamorous moments. While many of them happen in the privacy of your home, sometimes embarrassing situations can unfold in the worst of places. So how can you avoid some of those worst case scenarios and what should you do if you can't? Joining us now is Trisha O'Brien, Features Editor for American Baby Magazine. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sure any pregnant woman has those horror stories of pregnancy and the things that go wrong, right? I think you just have to realize that many women have gone through it before you and will go through it after you as well. And so let's talk about some of the top reasons that you're going to probably find yourself embarrassed. Um, you slip off your shoes at your desk, you're at work, and you can't get them back on. It's a common thing. Women go through incredible amounts of swelling during pregnancy thanks to those hormones. And so besides, obviously, staying cool, not making too big of a deal about it, what else can you do? You know, elevate your feet. That helps bring the blood down. And if you're going to buy new shoes, opt for a half size up. And then maybe also sandals would be a good way to go yeah, if it's summertime. Yeah, time it right. Um, a lot of women experience fainting. What do you do when that happens? You know, this is something that can happen often from dehydration or hy hypoglycemia. Mm -hmm. So you really want to make sure you stay hydrated, keep, you know, bottles of water by your back door, and eat, you know, small amounts of food during the day. Is there, are there any liquids that are best to drink? M maybe a juice or something juice that brings your sugar Juice or sports drink. Level? That has electrolytes in that. It'll help you retain fluids a lot better. Some women complain about being a little bit forgetful. Um, what can you do in that situation? Well, you know, there are studies out there that document mommy brain. It's a true phenomenon, you know. So if you're at a party and you're trying to remember something, you know, pull a friend aside, ask them to, you know, fill you in on somebody's names. Jot things down, carry a notebook with you, and or have post-it notes at the ready all the time. That's a good idea just for us in general. Exactly. <laughs> um, overheating. I feel like I go through that in the studio sometimes. They just get hot. But why is it for a pregnant woman it's, it's more common? You are supporting two metabolisms, your own and the baby's. So you can experience what feel like, you know, hot flashes that you might get in menopause. And so what do you do? Well, you know, invest in a really good deodorant <laughs> and continue to drink lots of fluids. You don't want to dehydrate. That can actually bring on contractions. So. I know pregnant women obviously have a lot going on with, um, you know, growing the baby, and so they're doing the work for two. Um, that can make you tired. Mm -hmm. If you're still working while you're pregnant, nodding off on the job, what do you do? Well, you know, if someone finds you asleep on your keyboard, first thing you need to do is just laugh it off. I must have dozed off for a minute. But have small snacks, ones that have carbohydrates and protein, like cheese and crackers throughout the day. That'll give you a nice little energy burst. And I think probably the best thing to do out of all this is just stay cool. It's, you know, people have been through this before, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Remember, people are, they know that this isn't easy. You know, what you're doing, you have to, you know, being inside of you and, you know, they want to help you out when they can. And you get a lot of ten a lot of attention. So exactly. Except that seat on the bus if someone offers it to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to go. Trisha O'Brien from American Baby Magazine. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Great tips. And for more on this and other great articles, just go to the up to the minute page at cbsnews.com and then you can click on American Baby.